Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting, and in this video today, I'm going to demonstrate SAP's predictive asset management. And so what we'll do is connect to the SAP HANA database, and from there, once we have the information being pulled in, we can perform an analysis on, in this case, maintenance costs and material availability. And we can also perform a variety of different analyses, including an impact analysis and a root cause analysis. Following that, we'll then plan corrective measures. This is the SAP Predictive Analytics application, and this will allow us to create all of those different analyses that I'd mentioned earlier. So what we'll do is click on into the Expert Analytics, and this is where you will create these analyses. And right now, I already have one that's saved as a document, so I've already connected to the specific database that I want to connect to and have set it up and saved it as this document. So we'll open this up and again we'll just ask for a password, we'll enter that in and then we'll have access to the document that we've created and this will be where we can add in all of the different features and areas that we want to conduct an analysis on. And so now that we're on this visualize area, as indicated up top here, we can pull in different measures and dimensions to create this analysis. So for our first analysis, we'll perform, we'll take a look at maintenance costs. So we have our measure over here for the maintenance cost. We can pull that into the x-axis. And so we can also change the layout, um, the format of our visualization up here. So we can go from a standard bar chart to say a 3D column chart. And right now it's not doing very much. We just have one measure in here, but we can also pull in more dimensions to make this a more comprehensive analysis. So if we wanted on the x-axis, we could pull in year. So we could see maintenance costs by year. And then for our legend, we can pull in equipment name. So we can have a legend displaying what the names of all of our equipment are. We'll pull that in down there. And so you can see it's very quickly pulling in data and creating an analysis based on the database that you are currently connected to in SAP HANA. And so now we're seeing the costs of all of, our, all of our equipment progressing throughout three years, starting in 2010, moving through 2012. And we can also see that the pump here in the yellow is clearly becoming more costly as the years progress. And so we can perform a root cause analysis and drill down into this and figure out the cause of these costs. So we can filter by that particular equipment Next, we'll predict the potential cost of maintenance if we continue with the same pump. So to do this, we'll now go into the predict tab. And so we'll take a look at the potential cost um, for the same pump as well as other corresponding maintenance strategies. And now since I have this document saved, it pulls up the different algorithms that I have applied to this particular data set. So over on the right here, we have a variety of these different algorithms. And I've added two, one of them being the aggregation, and I have this configured, as well as the triple exponential smoothing. Um, configuration is fairly straightforward and simple. You know, it's really just asking for dimensions. So that's the setup for the aggregation. And we can also take a look at the configuration for here. So we're basically putting in the data that we want to have pulled into our predictive analysis. Um, and so once we have these all set up, all the different algorithms, we can then run this. And what will happen is that the system will give us trends of maintenance costs um, and the increases and decreases in those. And as you can see, it's pulling this all into a grid format. However, we can change this pretty easily to a trend chart, as we can see here. 
What we'll do next is perform a root cause analysis to try and identify the why this piece of equipment needs frequent maintenance. So to do this, we'll go into the prepare mode, this tab up top. And once we're over into the prepare tab, we will create a filter. In this case, we'll filter equipment name by this particular pump. And then once we filter by equipment name, click on this specific piece of equipment. And then we can go to the visualize area. And once over on the visualize tab, we'll bring in some dimensions and measures to take a look at. So in this case, we'll look at time to repair. We'll look at time between repair. And then we'll also look at the actual maintenance cost. In addition, we'll also pull in the damage code for our color. So we're just pulling in all of this information to create quickly a visualization for this pump here. Now you can clearly see a relation between these different dimensions between time between repair, time to repair, and actual maintenance costs for these different various um, damage codes. And we can also scroll over each one of these different bubbles to give us insight into each one of these different areas. So now is the time that we need to plan corrective action. So we can choose a different chart type. So in this instance, we'll take a look at a heat map of this different data that we pulled in here. From here again, we can enter in additional parameters, but this will allow us to find relation between cause and defect code. So we'll pull in the cause code here, and this chart will also show potential impact that they might have on the downtime of this particular piece of equipment. And so that's a quick insight into SAP's predictive analytics. What we did was connect to the SAP HANA database which allowed us to perform multiple analysis on different things. So we took a look at maintenance costs per materials. We were able to perform a couple different analysis and then from there take corrective measures. For more information on how Blue Marble Consulting can implement a solution like this for you, please call our number listed here or visit our website at sap-bmc.